Hello world! Welcome to another video in my troubleshooting playlist. Today we're going to cover something very important and that is how to post to Stack Overflow without getting destroyed. If you've never heard of Stack Overflow before, um, between Stack Overflow and GitHub, uh, these two websites make up about 90% of our whole world right now in terms of technology. So GitHub is where everybody posts their code and then other people copy and paste off of it, uh, fork off of it, build on top of it. Stack Overflow is where you're going, where you go to get uh, answers for questions. And so, um, but a part of this is there are professional people on Stack Overflow that spend a lot of time answering people's questions. And so it can be a hostile place, maybe not as hostile as asking on Reddit, but um, Stack Overflow has a very intuitive website where if you don't uh, ask the question right, you may see some hostility. So today we're going to go over how to post to Stoke Out, how to post a question on Stack Overflow without getting destroyed. But first, welcome to my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. All right. So before you even go to Stack Overflow, what I recommend is let's say you get a Python error, right? So I'm a Python programmer. So always start off your error with the programming language that you're in. So Python type error. And then maybe you got an unhashable type list. So really try to look to make sure before you even go to Stack Overflow, has somebody already posted to this? Right, because that's one of the first things you'll get destroyed on is this has been answered a million times uh, and sometimes they won't link it to where it. But in the first five um, responses, there should always be a stack overflow. No matter how esoteric you think your error is, I bet you somebody has already asked something on stack overflow. So that's the first step is um, Google it, um, put in your language that you're doing so C++ um, error um, you know whatever so Ruby error stuff like that so whatever programming language you use so that's the first step right so let's say uh, you found some information but not something that's going to help you exactly with what you need so you're going to go to Stack Overflow if you don't already have a account Go ahead and create one. Um, they use kind of a uh, influence system similar to Reddit, where um, as you answer questions or ask questions, you get some influence. All right, so you'll see that here's the top questions. You can see there's a lot of views. Um, not all have answers. And one of the reasons why is because they haven't asked the question correctly. Um, so that's we'll go over to that so you press this ask question all right and this is where stack overflow really comes in handy because as you're typing the title of it which is very important um it's going to give you some intuitive information so let's say um python or this is where it says be specific and imagining you're asking a question to another person so how do i sort a list with dictionary with multiple dictionary keys okay it says many many similar phrase questions have received feedback like downvotes or requests for improvements so that gives you information that um, a lot of people have tried to ask this and uh, you know maybe they didn't follow this video before they did and so the first, the second thing you should do after Googling it is as you're typing, make sure somebody hasn't already answered it because what you might get is, hey, did you even try Googling? Please check out this link, um, which is kind of cool that they even post a link. Um, Stack Overflow gives you some details. So include details about your goal. Describe expected and actual results. Include any error messages. OK, so um, you can read these, which is fine. All right, so this is what we're going to do. 
Um, so what you're going to want to do is copy and paste the code directly from your editor. So for me, I use PyCharm. And uh, I'll show you how to do that, um, an example of what I mean in a second. But the first thing you should do is explain to the people what you want, what you are doing and what you want to do. This is where a lot of people go wrong is that they say, hey, I'm getting error. Please help. Well, what are you trying to do? What, what's your goal? So um, I have a list, a uh, list filled with multiple dictionary items or key value pairs. And I would like to get the information, get the information in a dictionary or something like that. I don't know, you know, but that's what you do. And then you explain what you've already tried. So here's what I've got so far, but I'm getting in error. Okay, so this is the key part, right? So you can either press right here, uh, block quote, uh, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, code sample. But what I like to do is you go um, right next to your number one keyboard, uh, uh, the number one on your keyboard, uh, probably under your escape, is this thing right here. So press it three times, right? You see that here. And then you type in your programming language. So Python. Then you type, you copy and paste your code here. So print um, variable, right, whatever. And then you close the block. And what that will do is Stack Overflow can automatically read code for you and it will format it correctly. What you can't do though is you'll get flamed. Either somebody will downvote it, which makes it where you can't get answers or they will recommend that you don't even people don't even look at this and then some people are really nice and reformat it for you but you're expecting other people to do that for you and that's nice but what you shouldn't do is just go import uh library um print variable and then expect them to help you right because they don't know what's part of the code on there um, and I spelled library wrong, but still. So, but what you can do is put that in your thing right here. Oops, three of them. So they know. So as this draft looks, is that this will automatically see how it even color codes it for you. And that way experienced Python programmers can quickly see what you're doing. All right. And then what you want to do is, um, all right, so this is what I'm getting in error. Um, and then this, then this is the code I'm getting. And this is the code I'm getting, or the error I'm getting. So this is the third thing I think we're on that you want to do is post the error you're getting. Please post the whole, the whole error message too. This is critical for many um, experienced Python programmers. So here you'll go like this, Python again, because even the error codes are written in a specific language. Uh, copy and paste your error. So copy and paste your error and then close it out again. All right. This is critical um, to getting the answers you need. So that's an example right there. I'm going to discard this draft and I'm going to show you a recent one that I did. Um, so here it is right here. I have or how to separate a dictionary by one key in Python while also parsing the data. So now this is a little shorthand. It's not I wouldn't talk to you like that if I was asking you, but it does, you know, give the um, what's it called? These experienced question answerers the necessary information to see. And so I have the following information um, and this is me iterating through. Now, I have a project where I can't show the whole code, right? And so I gave them as much as they need, but that's dangerous. I could have received a, uh, a note saying, hey, we can't help you unless 
you have uh, show us the whole code. But so what I did was when I drafted this right after this, I put the little uh, thing three times and then typed in Python. And then at the end of this, I put in Python and it puts it in this nice dictionary and it recognized it as a, uh, this is officially a JSON, but in the Python language, this is how JSON looks. Then I closed it and I said, as you can see, there are two different conversation IDs. First value, right? I'm, re I'm really trying to help people out here. Um, and then I explain, here's what I have so far, but it only contains one dictionary. So I copy and pasted my whole code so they can see it on the part that I'm having trouble with. Again, I encapsulated that in the Python block, right? And so as you can see, it color codes it, it indents it nicely, and then the output is exactly what I want. So in this case, I didn't get an error, um, but I did, again, encapsulate this in the Python code. And then you put a tag on there. Um, I haven't seen the effectiveness of ta uh, tags, but there's these watchers right here, and a good guess of them are people who, uh, that's what they do either for a job or they just are amazing people who like to answer your questions. So they watch these tags like Python. And then right away, so I, I think I posted this um, probably not at 9.52. I'm not sure what Stack Overflow's timestamp is. But uh, in the same day, so what is that? Uh, eight minutes, uh, 19 whatever, I hate doing public math, but 27 minutes later, somebody answered the question, explained it to me, and rewrote the whole code so it works. <laughs> That's amazing, right, in Stack Overflow. So he says, this is easier when you break it down in steps. He or she, I, I'm not sure. Oh, he, David Colbreth. Um, aggregate the message into conversation, sort the conversations, get the last message. So he puts in the whole code for me, um and then figures it out for me and then shows me the output and the output is exactly what you want so when somebody answers your question if it's the actual answer you were looking for up here you want to upvote it right and then you click this right you accepted this answer and then what i always try to do is say thank you um thank you so much right because this guy has uh, 2017 reputation score. Um, one of these is how many he's answered. But anyways, it sounds like he has answered a lot of questions, and that's amazing. Um, let me see if I think I might have deleted it because I was embarrassed. But uh, but here we go. This is one of the very first questions I answered. I asked on here, and people have downvoted it right uh so luckily somebody still answered it and let me i don't remember where i uh i posted one where i got not abused per se but they yeah i probably deleted it because i was embarrassed about it but uh where they reformatted my whole code uh that's the down vote i got um, Okay, so I can't show you, but either way, somebody X and it the way Stack Overflows is it shows it all X'd out on your uh, answer. So if you could do me a favor, if you're watching this, if this video helped you, uh, go to my go to my community tab or my Facebook channel and go to community and uh, if you can vote in this post. Have you ever posted on Stack Overflow before? Um, yes, and they answered your question. So one person said that. Yes, and I got completely destroyed. No, I haven't needed to yet. And no, because I don't want to get destroyed. So post your video. Uh, so if you could do me a favor, if you like this video, please uh, participate in this poll. So I hope I helped at least one person. That's my goal with these troubleshooting videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch me build my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics, and give this video a like. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.